Hey everybody, it's Mama J and we are back with part 18. Wow. Probably going to end up, I think, with about 20 parts to this series. And again, if you comment on every single episode all the way to the end, you will be entered in a giveaway to win a slab. And I have a few different slabs to choose from. Once we get to the end, we'll be doing that giveaway. So make sure that you're commenting on all the videos. You don't want to miss one. All right, so let's go ahead and let's check out these about 15 comics and see if we have any keepers. I know last time we only were keeping one, but we're getting down to the bare end here. So first one we're gonna show off is a Justice League of America. It's a pretty cool cover. I like when they do covers like this. I think they're pretty awesome. And there are characters mixed in there if you can see them. So that's pretty cool. There's a Wonder Woman down there. Um, there's Aquaman, Superman, Batman, Flash, Green Lantern. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool cover, but not a keeper. Oh, and then we got a few more of these, which I know that I probably have the whole series, as I've said before. These are Gotham City Garage comic. There's part five and six. So those are really cool. This one here, not sure about this one. This is three of eight, eight billion genies. I don't know much about this comic. I think I got it in a, in a mystery box myself. So that's pretty cool, but not a keeper. All right, off on to another Justice League. These are very busy covers. They're still pretty cool, but not a keeper. These, are we going to find any keepers? Maybe not. Here's another Justice League. This is part 10. Again, pretty awesome covers. Very busy covers. You can look at it multiple times and probably find something new. Each time, this is a pretty awesome cover. I believe this comic is called The Sacrificers. That's a pretty sick comic. Look at all that hair. All right. Oh, here's another old one. This one's called Guy Gardner. This is from 93. Some of these older ones, some have value, some don't. I'm not sure about this one. I would say probably not on this one. All right, not a keeper. This one will be a keeper. The Revenge of Eris Wonder Woman. So that's a pretty cool one. So there's our first keeper. Oh, here's another Wonder Woman again. Not too crazy about this Wonder Woman, but right now I am just going to keep these. Might change down the road. This one is an awesome cover. Tonight we dine. Look at that. That's awesome. I like that cover. That's definitely a Um, Here we have the final days of Superman. Superman and Wonder Woman. Right now, we'll put this in the keep pile. This cover, this cover's pretty awesome. It's like probably around a $15 cover, but check that out. Batman That Laughs, it's basically a virgin cover almost. I mean, there's a little writing down and the DC logo up there, but this is a pretty sick cover. Like I said, again, probably about a $15 value. I think if I was to do mystery boxes, I could definitely do well over value mystery boxes you know i have awesome comics from dc like batman joker harley there's marvel x-men comics in here there's uh sonic and all kinds of comics i mean all de definitely can put out some fire mystery boxes this right here is father versus son batman versus robin pretty cool looking cover not a keeper for me but a pretty cool cover Batman has a lot of cool covers, just not something I normally collect. For example, this one right here. Check that out. Another awesome cover. And this one, uh, Batman Beyond the White Knight. Again, another awesome Batman cover. Check that out. Wow. So this time, oh, well, we had about four that we're keeping this time. So what did you think? Were there any covers that you really liked? Like I said, there were some fire Batman covers in there. I think for the four that I'm keeping... Uh, my favorite cover would probably be this Wonder Woman one. But again, just trying to weed out that collection. Let me know down below if you would be interested in a mystery box. Or if there's a certain theme that you've seen me put a lot in my discard pile that you would be interested in. Maybe a curated mystery box. Just let me know. I'll see what I can work out. Either way, got to get rid of these somehow. Got to make room for the stuff that I want to add. There's a lot more rock and roll comics I want to get for the collection. Either way, um, so don't forget, leave that comment so you can get entered in those giveaways. And stick around. Check out my Patreons. They get something every month. And until next time, keep on rocking.